Danger close. Danger close? Oh my god. Okay, no badness. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Unturned on the Gang Z server. I'm actually at the North Military Base, Volk Military Base, I think is how it's pronounced. And I was just here kind of by myself. I wasn't planning on recording this. However, as you guys can see, this is, I don't know, it's a mega zombie, I think they're called. But I thought seeing as I haven't done a mega zombie in a video yet, I would do one for you guys. I thought it'd be kind of cool, and I do have my AUG with me. So this is kind of the gun I carry all the time. This is my secondary that I use in case we get into any PvP fights, because as most of you probably know, when it comes to PvP, we're only using civilian ammoed weapons. And that's just so that, you know, we don't go up to someone and kind of one-shot them. Now, I think with the pistol, if you get a headshot, it might be a one-hit kill, but I don't know. I haven't been in enough PvP to be able to tell, but I have a suppressor on my gun, so I'm gonna try to take out um, these guys first, and then I'm gonna take the suppressor off and go for the big guy, because I think the suppressor may or may not... I don't know if it lowers the damage or not. We'll have to tell. Or we'll have to wait and see. So let's get him to come over to us. It should, it's not too hard, um, as long as he doesn't get too close. Once he starts getting too close, then we kind of have to run. Oh my god, that was so... <gasps> Danger close. Danger close! Oh my god. Okay, no, badness. Okay. Um... Well, I don't know if I was sprinting or not, but I thought I was. Oh my god, that's badness. I guess I'll see you guys when I'm back here. Okay guys, I am back and just outside the military base. I had to run it because all of our vehicles were actually out of gas and I didn't take a gas can from the main base to the garage. So I ran as fast as I could and just as I expected. The guy is right there. So we're gonna have to turn on Oh god, I really, really hope I can kind of sneak by everybody just to pick up my gear and try this again. Um, I don't even know if he gets affected by sounds like everybody else. Will he hear me? I am so nervous. Let's get the gun and put it in our hands. Okay, let's do this. Now pick up all the things. Don't get too close. Oh my god. It's okay. Everything is fine. Oh god. Don't turn the light on, light. Jeebus. You're gonna wake him up. Okay, let's let's try this again. I'm sure he's probably regained his... Oh god, there's all the zombies. He may or may not have regained his health. Um, I, I don't know. I genuinely do not know how it works, to be honest. I'm a little bit of a scrub, guys. Okay, let's take out these guys here. Okay, nope. Not a one-shot kill. Alright, let's do this again. But this time I want to have... Let's get this on my three and this on four. There we go. So if we need to heal up, we can do it really quickly. Because um, I think if I had been able to heal last time, I would have been able to get him. Maybe? I, I don't know. But let's try standing farther back and um, trying this. Oh, okay. So he doesn't, if I'm far enough away, he won't actually get uh, aggroed. So this should be pretty easy, I guess. As long as we're, oh, as long as I'm getting head shots. That's badness. Okay, but I'm still far enough away. This AUG is unbelievably loud, guys. Um, probably one of the louder guns, if not for... I wouldn't say the loudest, but it's definitely one of the louder guns. Now, let's see what we got. This is a Ranger Drum, a 7x scope for the AUG, a 16x scope, a bipod, and a grenade. Mmm, kind of... 
kind of poopy. <laughs> Definitely not the best stuff I've had. And I do actually have um, some of that stuff already attached to my AUG. I think, yeah, I already have the bipod. I should fix my suppressor. This is what it looks like to have a 16 times scope on this. And then if we put the, where is it? Where's the other site? We'll just throw this one back on the seven times. You can definitely see there's a big difference. I like to use the seven times. The 16 is just a little bit too crazy for my liking. Now I'm going to actually, uh, before we get into this, let's actually, oh, did I reload? I didn't mean to reload. Oh God, reloading all the things. Okay, let's empty the gun, put all of the rounds in the drum and then reload that back in just in case we have any unexpected visitors. Now I'm going to go through here with you guys, seeing as we've never done this together before. I've never actually gone through a military base with you guys before in a video. Now I have done it on stream. And for those of you who don't know, I stream a lot on my Twitch channel, probably more, no, actually definitely more than I actually upload and record videos. Now, I have been wanting to change that. I have been wanting to do more videos and that's why, again, I'm doing one today and I'm hoping to record one again soon, but Twitch has definitely um, taken over for me. It is definitely, I guess people would consider it my full-time job at this point. And so most of my time goes into that. Now, oh my God, oh God, it's fine. I actually didn't know you could hit these boxes open until I was watching Ty stream. Um, Ty Designs was streaming, I think it was last night actually, and I saw him hit those boxes open. I was like, what? You can actually do that? So um, from now on, hitting all the boxes. My god, it always seems like I know we do have our spawn rates for items turned down quite a bit, so I don't actually know... If going through these military bases is really worth it or if just kind of farming mega zombies is the better option. Now I have seen some of the guys get some pretty swanky gear um, going through here like some Alice packs, maybe the spec ops clothing and rucksacks and stuff. So those are pretty dang nice if you ask me. I hate these runner guys. I can never kill them without them noticing me first. Oh, okay, except him. I actually did it. <laughs> I actually did it for once. So while we go through here, I guess I should tell you guys about some stuff that has happened recently to the Negans. More specifically, between OPB and the Negans. So, if you guys didn't know, Fox had actually stolen... T Do you see that? Did you just see that thing? despawn in front of my very eyes in front of our very eyes the freaking magazine but <laughs> let me continue so some stuff has been going down between oh no yes opb and the stankies so what i mean by that is fox actually stole ty's uh fire truck it had a bunch of things on the top of it, like crates and whatnot, and he was using it at his outpost. And so the Negans technically stole it, and we hid it somewhere. Now, the other day while I was streaming, Ty and Cube came to the military base and stole my ghost. So they stole the ghost, which <clears throat> may or may not have been Maz's at first. <laughs> they came and stole our ghost, and then pretty much tried to hold me up for it. No, they did definitely hold me up. They held me up and wanted to try to make a trade. The ghost for the fire truck. Now, it wasn't my decision to give the fire truck back, so I had to kind of play it smart. And I told them that if it was a war they wanted, it was going to be a war they'd get, and that they should have done the deal with me when I first asked. So my first deal was that they would um, give me back the truck, or they would give me the ghost, and something else, if I'm not mistaken in return for the fire truck but they had to meet me here now they had held me up at stanky's base around here or at the opb base sorry i get everyone mixed up so i told them to meet me here with the fire truck and that only one of them was allowed and i would go there as well so there was two members of opb on and or three members it was ty cube and chief 
And then it was just myself and Sir Kaz on. And I was like, you know, I will go there by myself if you guys promise to go there, you know, only sending one man. And they couldn't take the deal, so I got away in handcuffs and I ran back to the base. Now, I knew OPB and they wouldn't, they wouldn't, that, that wouldn't be okay to them. They'd want to fight and get it back. So I armed myself to the teeth with my AUG and some other stuff, and I kind of prepared for a fight. And my God, did I get a fight. I'm actually going to, uh, speaking of that, I'm going to include that in here so that you guys can see just what happened. And the fact that us Negans aren't ones to mess with. I think, um, I think I did a pretty good job of defending myself. Now, mind you guys, this will be a recording of my stream, so it's going to have a face cam, and it's probably not going to be 1080p. It'll probably only be 720 with a little tiny bit of motion blur, but that's not something I can really change, sadly, because it is a recording from the stream. But once you guys are done seeing that, I will be seeing you guys um, probably back at the ghost when I finished raiding this area. Hmm, I don't think I can take How about that this? offer. How about what? Well, what if we blow up this police car? What will happen? Then you guys will have to die. Come on, gentlemen. Proxy. All, you don't even have to do anything about the fire truck. You just tell us where the fire truck is. We'll go get it. We'll take your word for it. We'll drop off this vehicle and we'll go get the fire truck. I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. We're basically taking your word at it. We can't have a deal, boys. It's not happening. Alright. Are you sure you want to be doing this? As ready as I'll ever be. Alright, I think we're safe for now. Oh my god, that was intense! Did they get the car back? Oh, heck no, they didn't get the car back. I am a protector. I will do my best. They're back. Proxy, you there? Mm-hmm. So you still don't want to make a deal? I don't think we can do that, Ty. Wait, cube, cube. Hands up. Proxy, hands up. We can make a deal. I'm good with that. Hands up? Well, you're a little outnumbered. All I want is my fire truck back. There's some stuff in those crates that I really want. Well So, you sure you don't want to make a deal? This is your last chance.
Cube, are you there? Cube, how do you want this to work? There we go. 2v1, guys. 2v1. And my god, was that scary! So what'd you guys think? It was a 2v1, and I played it pretty sneaky, if I'd say so myself. And I was able to get both of them. I think I think the Negans aren't to be messed with. Or maybe the boss isn't meant to be messed with. <laughs> I was really nervous, I will admit, guys. Um, it was pretty nerve-wracking. I hadn't gotten into PvP like that before, so I played it pretty sneaky or as sneaky as I guess I could in a 2v situation or a 2v1 my bad oh god can't talk and drive I cannot talk and drive <laughs> so I'm coming over here just to check and see if anything has spawned since I was away I know that some military stuff does sometimes show up here Let's see, it doesn't look like anything too amazing. What is this? I guess we can take a can for that trouble. But um, yeah, it was pretty unbelievable, I'm not gonna lie. I was freaking out to say the least. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was it was good-hearted fun. Now sadly, I did during that little um, encounter, when the guys came back to get their gear, Ty was pretty desperate for a hint as to where his fire truck might have been. Oh god. And <laughs> I pretty much was like, kind of messed with him a little bit. I was like, Ty, the fire truck is right under your nose. And I was hoping that he would think I meant as in, in their base. And um, sad, ooh, milk. Uh, stop the car, run for the milk! Sadly, he kind of took it as in it was right under his nose at the Negan space, which it technically was hidden at our base below the garage. And um, yeah, he found it. His latest episode, he went and made the Negan's base swish cheese. He went and messed up some of our floors and our walls. And yeah, he was finally, after a little while, able to actually find the fire truck and get it back. So that kind of stinks, but. It's not too bad. Um, you know, we did have it for quite a while, and I got to have some fun PvP out of it, and he got, or, well, he got his truck back, and got to have some fun butt kicking. But, um, yeah, that's where I actually got this Alice pack. The Alice pack was cubes, and the ghost I took back. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god! This car is actually a savage. <laughs> what is even happening? I swear, I swear I'm a good driver. I totally didn't get my uh, my license out of a cereal box, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, I took the Alice pack from Ty or from Cube, and I took the Ghost from Ty after the kills because we're allowed to take one item from each person. So I was like, I'm coming out of this not empty-handed, not just with a Ghost, but with an Alice pack. So I did take the Alice pack. <laughs> One thing that I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm actually coming here because I want to check and see if there are any, um, what are they called? The filters? I'd like to go and make a run to another area. I know that there's usually, what are they called? Um, another one of those big guys. 
So I want to check that out. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it's either this area. Is it this area? Or is there another one? Oh god, I don't. I think it might be this one? Or there's some, like, cave up around Silo. I think I see people drive to it. It's around here somewhere. But there's a cave that I'd really like to go check out that usually has megas. I'd like to check out another mega this episode, if I can. And, voila, exactly what I'm looking for. I came here to kind of find some extra filters. Because my gas mask right now is 100%, but I don't think that'll be enough to get me through that area. So hopefully, on the other side of this town, there's going to be another gas mask. If not, let's hope that two gas masks will be enough. If not, I'm a little bit in trouble. I'll have to probably borrow one from Cthulhu. I know he has a bunch, and I'm sure he won't mind if I just you know, kind of borrow another one. <laughs> but I'm going to check this other fire station and then I will see you guys back at the Negan's base because that is where we're going to drive up from. Okay, guys, let's do this. I'm a little nervous. As soon as I cross this line here, I should get into the contamination zone any second now. Oh, no, okay, up here. I'm still nervous. I don't exactly know where I'm going. I hope this is the right spot, but you know what? We're pretty much just going to have to hope for the best. Is this it? Okay, so this is one of the spots. This isn't the one that I was talking about, but this works. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. The last time I went into... Oh, God, I forgot to put the good barrel on. Oh, switch over. Switch. The last time I went into one of these spots, it didn't work out so well. I really, um, yeah. I get, is that a guy? Oh my god. I get really nervous, and I, I freak out a little bit, and my heart starts to hurt. So yeah, um, proxy doesn't work out so well in, in scary dead zones. Uh, let's kill, kill, okay, that was not that, Hello? What the heck? Why can't I shoot him? That was silly. I'm not exactly sure what was happening there. But these guys seem to really only drop, um, what are they called? Uh, just like bandanas and stuff. There hasn't been any, oh my god, anything too amazing yet. But I'm assuming that once we're inside, that'll change. God, I hope. Now there's some stuff over there that I... Oh god, hip firing with this thing is not is not nice. Okay, what are you? A halo hollow sight? Thief top bottoms. What is this? Okay. Let's get our butts inside. So we have 61%. I just need enough to get back out. I do have two masks that are like under 20%. So um those aren't too amazing, but if anything, they will help us stay alive a little bit longer. I'm not exactly sure why this doesn't headshot them every single time, but I don't know. God, I'm getting so nervous. 50, 52% left. We're fine. Everything is fine, Proxy. Just relax. What is that gun right there? Oh, God. There's so many guys. A peace peacemaker? I don't know if that's going to bring peace or if that's going to mess faces up. Um, what's my barrel at? I, I don't even know. If this thing starts getting loud... Um, all, all the badness. So let's actually take, let's take the katana and um, salvage this so that we can get some metal for it to fix our suppressor. All right, 39. We're, we're kind of messing around. I'm not, I'm not doing a good job of this. Let's get our butts downstairs. I know this is the last floor coming up here. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Get him, get him dead. Get him dead! Oh, God. Okay, I don't really have, um, a a ammo? A hello? Reload? Oh, my God, I don't have any ammo left. Oh, this is badness. Oh, God. Oh, no, okay, um, what, what happened to my ammo? What happened to the magazine that I had? I thought I had a magazine full of ammo left. Um... I guess not. I must have left it home. Okay. Well, peacemaker. Um. What What do we do? Um. Heal up first. Let's 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 equip this and heal up. We're fine, guys. It's fine. I I feel fine. I don't 
no, I'm, I'm totally so afraid. I don't even know what'll happen if, like, oh god, who was that? Who just made a noise? Uh, four, let's put this back on. Who's, who's making all the noises? Don't make noises. Oh god. We're fine. Just, just sneak around. If we don't see anything amazing, we'll just leave. Okay, Ooh, I see this. I want this. Um, I guess we can just run. I don't know what to do. Oh god, he's a runner. It's okay. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not fine. Oh god, it's fine. We're fine. You see? It's fine. <laughs> That's like, oh god, this guy is... Nope, 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 not fine. Not fine. Definitely not fine. Just run. It's fine. We're fine. Just, no. Oh my god. Give me that. No, I've missed it. I missed it. Oh, God. Badness. Did I get it? I don't even know if I got it, guys. Oh, God. It's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Just get in the car and drive away. <laughs> Holy cow. I, I am not meant to go through these dead zones. Definitely not. This is... Pro Proxy can build build a garage and she can go to the normal military bases, but oh God, I cannot go through the dead zones. It scares me so much. You guys should have seen, why is, I'm like glitching out a lot today. Have you guys noticed that? Is anyone else glitching out a lot? Ooh, what is, what is this? Well, hello there. Claim and ooh, this is locked. I wonder who owns that. Oh, I did get them. So caliber military ammunition crate. I'm not exactly sure what those work for, but um, yeah, I guess they work. Okay, let's get back to the base because my god, I think my heart is still pumping. I yeah, I'm I'm not I'm I'm a giant wuss, guys. I can't do it. I'm so bad. <laughs> But let's, oh god, let's get back to the base and I will show you guys just before we head off what has been done in the garage because I didn't really get to show you guys this yet and I would like to work on it today, which is, um, I think it's August the 8th. I'm going to be doing another live stream tonight on August the 8th. So I want to kind of work on pretty much finishing up, okay, one of our cars is upside down. I do want to put a roof on our base because some sneaksters, some tricky guys, figured out that they could place some stuff. Can I? Hello? Am I crouched? Was I crouched this whole time? Am I standing up? Am I? Am I standing? I'm, I'm standing. Why can't I? I was able to jump this earlier. He hello? Okay. I get whatever. Anyways, they put some of those up and were able to get into the base and out thanks to those. So that's how Ty that's how Ty was able to get in and you know what? You're fine. You're gonna stay there. Ty was able to get in and actually get his truck out. So we'll have to uh, fix that up. I did have some claim flags and I thought they'd reach, but I guess it didn't reach just far enough to um, help stop people from getting in over the roof. So let me get into this du this dual garage door. I was hoping that would um, stop them from breaking in, but it didn't seem to work, I guess. <laughs> they just went over the dang garage doors. But this is our garage, guys. I built this while live streaming. Um, it's three layers, and it's going to have a nice roof on it. But this is the first layer, just for us to park some cars in. There's a light here for the door at nighttime. You can actually see the light on during the day. I didn't know that. But yeah, so we have a few cars in here. I will fix this police car later. The downstairs, so the next, oh my god. <laughs> the next layer is just some random chests that I have around that I've been storing some building supplies in. And I might put some random things in there as well. So we have two there. There should be one here. And then we have one here. And then the bottom layer is actually my farm, which I need to work on. I need to get some more pallets over there for, I think I'm missing carrots and maybe something else. But I wouldn't mind having um, two of these because these are actually the most used food, the lettuce and the tomatoes. But as you guys can see, I pretty much put down all of their values. So we have lettuce, tomato, 
and then there's some stored in these chests. We have corn and then some wheat. So yeah, it says all their value so that the guys can come and grab what they need. But some of you guys are probably wondering, but Proxy, where did Ty find his truck? Well, guys, there was a little bit of a sneaky spot down below the base, which I'm going to have to fill in now because it's not a surprise anymore. But as you guys can see, there was some holes here and Ty was able to find his truck down here and he left us this little red car or I think it's actually a Jeep or some type of truck. But yeah, this is um, this is it. This is pretty much what I've worked on most of the time. There's a few spots to be able to defend it. And then up here we have the actual base and our bedrooms and stuff, which I have to say, Weem, if you guys haven't watched Weem, he is freaking amazing. You really should go check him out. He practically built the whole Negan's base by himself. So I would definitely recommend going and giving him some love, guys. He really is one of a kind and I can't praise him enough. But thank you guys so very much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed the derp. Um, well, the first death with the mega boss. Then you guys got to see me 2v1 some of the guys. And uh, yeah, then we almost died at the, what, middle of, what is that spot called? I don't know. It's, it's, it's this thing, whatever this is. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be seeing you in the next uh, episode. All right, bye.